Good morning, everyone. I am getting these babies their last looks. Let me adjust my lighting just a bit there. I hope it's okay. I hope you can see all right. Um, this is the part where I just kind of go through and make sure everything's perfect or as perfect as I need it to be. That makes me happy. And that means looking at toenails, feet, hair, eyelashes, all that good stuff. This isn't going to be a getting a baby dressed video. I will be putting a diaper and maybe a t-shirt on them for photography. But for the most part, I am just going to be doing a little inspection work. And I'm going to start off with Alma. She turned out really, really cute. This is a newer Bountiful Baby sculpt. Let me see if I can get her in frame a little bit better. There she is. Look at you. You're so cute. Bountiful Baby has, oh gosh, I don't know. I want to say like six new Realborns coming out. I think because of COVID, they've been um, held back a little bit. I, I can't be even certain about that. I don't work there. I don't know what the process is. But I know that a lot of us are waiting. And we were told, the artists were told a while back that some shipments because of COVID were not coming in. Their containers weren't coming in. I don't know if that's been resolved now or what, but I am eagerly awaiting the new Realborns. I'm kind of excited. And I'm just painting whatever sculpts I have in my stash. And this was the last batch of new Realborn. So this is my first time painting her. There we go. And that's what this part is for, just kind of fine tuning things. I don't want to send a baby out, out into the world that, that doesn't look good. I mean, you can't catch everything, right? You know, some things just are perfect imperfections. They just are what they're going to be, and that's okay too. But you just try to do your best. You know. At our Target, we seem to have a good supply of diapers, but I've heard of other people who are struggling with that. I think mostly it's like the toilet paper situation. Somebody starts hoarding things and then it creates a shortage. So I don't wanna be a part of that. You know, I'm just gonna leave those diapers on the shelves for, for babies that need them and just make do with what I have. I usually send like three or four diapers and I'm just not. And I apologize to anybody who was expecting those, but let's just wait till things mellow out and let's just make sure that everybody has what they need. I think we'll all be okay. And these, these little guys can make their diapers last a super long time. So that's Alma. She looks adorable. Uh, the way this ankle is made and every time that she's gone into the oven, I've tried to straighten it out, but it's kind of the way she's made it. This ankle bends up a little bit. It's supposed to, it's supposed to look like when babies hyperflex but I know that somebody else who has purchased this sculpt wasn't happy because of this. So if this is a sculpt you're interested, understand that that is on purpose. It is not a flaw in the baby or this sculpt. And if that bothers you, you're not crazy about that, that quick bend there, probably move on and look for a different baby. Here is Jenny. I already put her diaper on and I'm just gonna give her a quick looking at. I think she looks fabulous. She's got some really good feet. Look at those feet. They're so cute. Their hair looks good. I just gave her a hair comb. And she's another one where I noticed that just a little part of her ear didn't have as much paint. It's in a little crease. And so it, I would show it to you, but I'm not sure you would even be able to see it. And I'm going to just powder that and varnish that. Again, not something anyone else is gonna notice but me, but it's gonna drive me crazy if I leave it alone. She looks pretty cute. Her lips turned out great. I changed the um, varnish I use on their lips to a satin instead of a gloss. I love this sculpt. This is the cutest baby ever. And he looks pretty good. Um, I looked at him last night, but I wanted to take another good look at him in the daylight. It was a little dark in here last night. I see a little spot on his nose right here that isn't as pink as the other side. So when I'm sure 
that everything is the way I want it, I'm just going to do a little light bit of satin varnish where I did the repair. It'll dry uh, like the rest of his skin. It'll be fine. You are so cute, mister. There he is with his drying shiny bits. We have this big chunk of love here, Lavender Awake. And she has a little sticky leg, or he has a little sticky leg. Limbs are loose. If there's a little bit of moisture or humidity in the air, or there's some temperature changes, sometimes that Mod Podge can get sticky, and it's easy enough to just kind of work it free. Oh, this baby is so heavy and so squishy. I did sell a baby last week. It was uh, Patience Tooney. And um, unfortunately, and she had some really long eyelashes. She's a bigger baby. She had some long eyelashes. Not like, you know, cartoony long, but um, just a little bit longer than newborn eyelashes just because she's an older baby. And when I ship off a baby, I usually groom their hair and then put a hairnet on them so that the hair doesn't get all matted on the way home. And what happened was her eyelashes got caught up inside of that hairnet, and when they arri arrived, they were all splayed about. They were very, very happy with the baby, but she was wondering if she could do something about the eyelashes, and I told her that I would make a little video on how to do that. It's super simple, you're just gonna reset them. And so I'm not going to do it on this baby because his eyelashes are set, but I can do like a demo, a quick demo. And if somebody else has a better idea, feel free to put it in the comments. Just put a little water or hair conditioner, whichever you have. I mean, a uh, mohair conditioner, whichever you have. And wet the eyelashes. Comb them out the way you want them to go. And you're going to move them in that upward direction, either with the cotton balls, sponge, whatever you have and kind of give them this little, these little spa sponges here. And then you can use some blue tape to go around the head. I wouldn't use packing tape or anything with a strong adhesive that's gonna leave a film on there. You can use a, a piece of t-shirt, lots of things. You're gonna put it on there and you're just gonna wrap this, and I don't even need to go into this, but you're just gonna basically wrap this around like this. and let it sit for a couple of hours until it dries. That's it. And then when you take it off, the eyelashes should be groomed nicely. And if you happen to see a stray one that's not behaving, that's giving you trouble, go ahead and, and you know, take it out. But for the most part, it's that easy. So again, you can use cotton balls, you can use those little cosmetic, um, those little cotton cosmetic rounds you can use a cosmetic sponge you can use paper towel napkin anything that you can can put on there that will absorb some moisture and, and softly hold those baby's eyes and eyelashes in place you can use blue artist tape it's the blue painters tape the reason why i use that is because it's designed to release it's not designed to leave any adhesive or messiness on a baby I think it's also called frog tape then. They have it in green too. Um, and it won't stain the baby. And make sure you don't get that in the baby's hair. You don't want to rip it out. But that's all you have to do. It looks good. Okay, buddy. And here is Priscilla. And she has a few stray lashes. You know what? I don't want to take them out. I think I'm just going to trim them. I think I can get a number one diaper on her, too. There we go. Quick look at Miss Priscilla. I have given her three different color eyes. And I really personally like the blue. I asked her by a doll forum, and they all liked the blue. 
I showed her to my family. They did not like the blue. So I might take her apart one more time and put in the gray again just to see if I like it. I'm on the fence about it. I think she looks okay. So these are her eyes. I happen to like it. I think she looks pretty with these eyes. They might be a little too light blue. I do have um, a pair of hazel green eyes that I found. I knew I had them somewhere here and I found that I'll leave her like this. I don't know, leave a comment and let me know what you think because I'm probably gonna upload this tomorrow and it's probably gonna be a couple of days before I get to doing that. And I'd like to know what everybody thinks. I don't know if the blue make, make her eyes look a little too bulgy, but her skin turned out great. I'm gonna re-varnish these toes just because I added a little blushing to them. I like uh, a very well blushed baby. Maybe not everybody else does, but I do. To me, it it just gives gives a doll more life. If that makes sense. I like babies with a lot of pink. I like yellow too. I love yellow undertones. Maybe because I have a lot of yellow undertones. My kids have a lot of yellow undertones, so to me that's familiar. I'm gonna let probably let her dry on this table. Her feet want to go together and I don't want them to stick. And here. So that's you know that's about it. I just really wanted to wrap up this little spring baby painting series and let you guys see the babies and see how they turned out. It was so much fun. I haven't started um, photographing these babies yet for obvious reasons, they're not done, but I have started photographing the last batch and they just started going up and yeah, they're they're moving quick and I, and I uh, just wish I had more hands and more time. I don't want anybody to be disappointed that they missed a baby. And again, this is gonna dry like the rest of the baby, it's not gonna stay shiny like that. I kinda feel like I wanna pink up her cheeks, but I need to restrain myself. Sometimes I need an overdo it intervention. I get to, to the, picky bitty, the picky bits. And if you guys want to like have a real surreal moment I just uploaded yesterday's video to you <laughs> while I'm doing this video. So I'll probably get this one loaded today or tomorrow. And we're, we're done with these babies and I'm ready to start the next batch. I'm pretty excited. We'll see you guys oh, probably in about a week.